Well, that was part one. Let's try again. So, black goes here. You can see the cursor. Black has one, two, three. Black has one, two, three. White has one, two, three. In these parts, they're fighting for. Then black goes here. And now black has one, two, three, four, five, six bit of territory. And white has one, two, three. And this part is still contending over it. So let's say white goes here. Now white has one, two. These parts, they're both sort of on these parts. So let's say they're contending these parts. Neither of them has here or here. So white has one, two, three, four. Black has one, two, three, four. And they are fighting over these parts. Then black goes here. So black's now gone into this part. So white has lost this part and they're contending over this part. So what does white do? White goes here as well. Now black has invaded. Mm. Now what does white do? This is a small part. Does white also invade? Or does he defend? What happens? White goes here. Black can't go here. Because if black goes here, it's taken. So let's see. You don't understand about the liberties, probably. We call the free spaces next to a piece liberties. So I'll call them breathing space. So right now, black has four liberties. It's able to breathe on four spaces. White also has four. Now this white one has three, because this black one has now suffocated that breathing space. So white has three liberties. And black, because their stones have connected to each other, they've become like a single entity. So this one has one, two, three liberties, but because it's connected to a black stone, this one has one, two liberties, so all together they have one, two, three, four, five. This has five liberties, this white stone has three liberties. Now this is connected, this one also has, f no it doesn't have five. So because white went here it took away one of black's liberties. So this black one has one, two, three, four, and this white one also has one, two, three, four. Black goes here, one, two, three for white. Because this black isn't connected with these, these two have four liberties, and this one stone has two liberties. So if white goes here, this white stone has one liberty, one bit of breathing space. This black one also has one bit of breathing space, but because it's black's turn now, black can suffocate that white stone, and once a stone is suffocated and has no liberties, it is taken off the board. So now we're in that similar position as before. White goes here. This white, this black stone has one liberty. So what does it do? If it connects to this group, it still only has one liberty. So white can suffocate it and take all of them. So in that situation, black would not connect. So what would black do? Black would threaten these white stones. And now these white stones have one liberty. So on the next move, if black goes here, black will take these stones. So white takes. And then black takes. Then white takes. And black takes. And white takes. And black. And it goes on forever. So this is a special rule. This game doesn't really have any rules, but it does have one particular rule. To avoid this, the rule is that if there is a position where it will keep repeating itself, you're not allowed to retake, so white takes, and now because white's taking and the position will keep repeating itself, black is not allowed to take. And they call this a co, the co rule. So black can't take, so black has to go somewhere else. But let's say black goes here and then for some reason white goes there or whatever. Now because white has played its move and black has played its move and it's two turns after, black is allowed to take. But because it's going to keep repeating itself, now white is not allowed to take. So the rule is you can take, but the opponent can't retake. First the opponent has to play somewhere else, and then if you play somewhere else, they can then take, but you cannot retake. 
so they have to play you have to play somewhere else they have to play somewhere else then you can retake and that's the coal rule oh well since we got away from that board let's do a bigger board five space so black plays in the middle white plays beside it now black attacks this white stone so what does this white stone do it can either extend strengthening this stone or it can cut so we have a fight this is a fight they both got each stone has two liberties each so we're in a fighting situation now black can either strengthen these stones like that or black can just keep fighting so black is threatening this stone and then what was white do white can either go here and now white's threatening this stone so if black doesn't take that means the next turn white will take so let's see let's do that shall we so black takes and now white's in this position what does white do these stones are weak black white can go there black goes here mm, it's not good for white white's lost pretty much so what should white do white plays there black attacks should white strengthen and then black strengthens then white strengthens then black what does black do it cuts off white from going any further now what does white do hmm white's pretty much lost it's stuck in the corner here it can't really do much black's got more territory it's called territory the points you get so black has one two three four five six seven points of territory we'll say white as free but white's not really alive so let's explain what life and death is so we don't need to go in the sides it's better not to play at the sides because you want to get territory and your territory is the sides pretty much so right now all these stones have nothing they have no territory except for this sort of section here Oh yeah, that's also a rule. As you saw, I couldn't play there. You're not allowed to suicide. So let's say white. Let's make a white circle here. So black is not allowed to play in there. Because it's suicide. It's already suffocated. It has no liberty. So it's not allowed to play in there. But white is allowed to fill its gaps. So white can do that. Strengthen his groups and whatever. But if these stones are safe, you wouldn't play in there because you're just depriving yourself of a point. That would be worth one point at the end of the game. So, anyway, what's alive and what's not? Let's do an example. So, this one, one, two, three, four, five, it had five squares. So, the way you get whether something's alive or not. So this white one is alive or not depending on who plays here first. To be alive you need two what they call eyes. You need two spaces. So this black one has two spaces. It doesn't make a difference where you play. It doesn't matter how big or small the space is. So right now it's got these spaces here and these spaces here. One, two. It doesn't matter if black plays there. It's still got one, two. So it makes no difference, it can play in any of these spots as long as it has two. If it plays here, it's still alive actually. Even if it plays there, but it's just decreasing itself by one point. If white plays there, black can play there and you see one, two. It's still got two open spaces. But as I said, if black plays here, this white one has one space. If white goes there, it still has one space. If it goes there, it still has one space. But there is that, isn't there? If it goes here, it now has two spaces. So in order for this to... So black can play there, but white plays there and it's safe. Black can play there, but then white can play there. It's got two spaces, it's safe. But let's say black was there and then white did... And black did that. No, no, no. Let's say black did that now. This part's cut off. So white has one space here. Which means it is dead. Well in this situation it might not be dead actually. Mm. It's dead isn't it? Yep it's dead. 
Uh, who knows, maybe some combination, it not, won't be dead. But the point is, if you want your stance to live, you need two, what they call eyes. So, if that pot's filled out, whoever plays here first. If black plays there first, it's dead. If white plays there, it's dead. That's got the six. <laughs> okay. So, you should play in the first order. In the first order, you should play corners... This is the order you should play. Corners, sides, middle. So let's say black plays a corner, white plays a corner, black plays a corner, white plays a corner. Next, black wants to... Now that all the corners have been played in, white wants to play the middle. So there. Well, not the middle, the sides. So this is sort of the side. Ah, uh, for now. No, oh, I want to. I want to leave now. <laughs> uh, let me just say the reason why. So, if you play in the corners, this is two stones for one point. Uh, let's do the sides, shall we? Okay, this is the white playing at the side. One point. It took three stones to get one point. And that shape you saw earlier here, this is the middle. One, two, two, three, four. Four stones for one point here. One point, one point, two stones in the corner for one point. Three stones at the side for one point, and four stones in the middle for one point. So the reason you want to play at the corners first is because it takes less stones to get the same amount of points. As playing at the sides in the middle. The sides takes less points than the middle, less stones than the middle, so you want to play in that order because it means you can play less stones and get the same amount of points, whereas if you're just playing in the middle first. Let's see how that would go. Mm. Well, in this case, black's got this corner as well, and the middle here, this one point. What's white got? What's going on? Mm, this is not safe. So who won? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points for black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points for white. So black could win by two points in this case. So what went wrong for white? Because black gets the first move, black has an advantage. But in this case, white played too close to the corner, whereas black played here. So if white played there, it's equal, sort of, between them. Black's got that, white's got that, it mirrors each other. So because white played here, white has pretty much one point in the corner, whereas black has four points here. So that move was a bit too weak from white. That would be a nice move for black. Black has now taken all of this side. So if, if white plays there, what has white got? This little section here. So black has two lines worth of points. White has one line worth of points. And then black can go there and reduce white even more. Mm, white's not in a good way, really. Ah, uh, might be okay now, because black didn't make, didn't keep his stones connected, so this one can escape from doing that. Hmm. Terrible playing of myself, isn't it? So, black went here. What did white do? White extended. So what black should have done is to do that. Doing that would keep these stones strong. These stones, one, two, three, four liberties. These stones, one, two, three liberties for these black stones. But this stone is weak. So this stone can kill this. Oh, so these stones are weak. So black, white can't do that. White has to go here and connect these stones to stop them being weak. But in doing that, it sacrificed these stones. These stones have two liberties, these stones have four liberties, these stones have four liberties, so a two liberty stone surrounded by two four liberty stones, these stones will not live. 
even going there it only has free liberties going there it's got free liberties it's not gonna live it's finished so that's not a bad move from black if it does that because then this group is strong these two groups are weak so they have to connect and in which case you get this group because it's why it has protect this group then what does white do tries to live and then we're in that situation there black can kill this group white is in a not very good position white's finished terrible terrible so what where does it go wrong with that move this move everything going wrong that's the move that killed it because <laughs> black was able to split hmm so what white should have done is go there possibly maybe well it was a disaster from the beginning actually as i said black's got more room here it's got more breathing space white's got not much breathing space not much territory much so white lost from the first move you might as well just say that white going here is auto automatic loss pretty much so if white goes there it's at least equal so that's what you want to do you want to keep it equal sort of hmm so black should go here in this situation black should go here because this part is worth more than this part what's this part worth if white goes if white goes here what is black lost one point this is one point this part here because black would go black would go there and then there so this one point is all you're losing but you're losing one point if you don't go here but if you don't go here what do you lose so you go there instead of going here white has to defend Hmm, it depends. Does white have to defend? Now it becomes what does white do? Does white defend here? And then you get to do that anyway. Or does white ignore it and go here? That's worth more. You lose that, but you'll get all this. Then white has to defend. Does white have to defend? Because you go there. Defend. If you don't take, then white takes. See, it's an interesting game, isn't it? But that part's worth more. See, if white, if white goes round like that, you lose a lot of points. Let's see how many you lose. Just count them up, shall we? So you'll, white would go there. You'll have to go here. So you'll lose one, two, three, probably four points you'll lose. White goes there. You go there to defend. Like that. So you've got one, two, three, four points here. Whereas if you'd gone here first, whatever, there's one, two, you've lost a lot. Look how many points you've lost. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you lost half your points. If, if you let white do that, but is white strong enough to do that? I wonder you go there. What do you do instead of going there? Do you split? Do you cut? Might different. Maybe you can cut. Hmm. Who knows? Well, that was my tutorial. I don't know if it was useful. <laughs> Probably useless. But <laughs> it's something. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, go on. Uh, play on these corners first. Corners, side, middle. Remember that. That's about it and just try and get territory and just try and stay equal the opponent and then just play just play 50 games and lose them all as quickly as you can and you'll get very good and that's about that <clears throat>